This is the most important thing you need to learn by far if you're going to play guitar. Stick around, we'll jump into it. I got a 30 pack out in the back. I'm going to tip to the Welcome. I am your tumultuous, <laughs> terrible, Try hard teacher, Randy Beer. Oh, you too. Bad. Today, we're going to go over tuning the guitar. Um, this, as we said in the lead in here, this is by far the most important thing um, to make sure that you know how to do, for one, and two, to make sure that you follow up on and you maintain that all the time you it is so important to have the guitar in tune it's more important than anything else you're gonna learn trust me <laughs> it's way more important think of tuning as your paintbrush if you're a painter did you eat a lot of paint chips when you were a kid <laughs> why tuning and guitar goes together like peanut butter and jelly and we we go to get like cocaine and waffles. Who are these guys? But they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Thanks, coach. All right, guys, uh, that's okay. I got it. I got it. All right, we're gonna jump into this. Um, we're gonna get into tuning the guitar today. I'm gonna mess up the tuning here. We're going to get a tuner on. We're going to get up close with the tuner and show you guys how to use tuners, where you can get them, what kinds, that kind of thing. We're not going to get into direct brands and all this other kind of stuff. We're just going to give you some basic knowledge just so you know how to tune your guitar if we're going to play guitar. Let's jump right into it. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put my little snark tuner up here. Right up in the front so you guys can see it. I've also got a built-in tuner on this guitar. That's kind of ideal. Um, if you're going to get an acoustic electric, go ahead and get one that's got a tuner in it. That way you don't have to have a separate piece of equipment to do it. If for some reason you just have an acoustic and it's not acoustic electric or something like that, these things work great. This little snark tuner, very affordable. I think I paid 20 bucks for it, something like that, or less. I don't remember. And um, those, this works really great. It works off of vibration through the wood on the guitar. So actually when it clamps on here, it's actually reading through the vibration of the guitar. So if you're in a loud room, it will hear the tuning. And you will be able to tune in a loud room or on stage with the band or whatever it may be. You will be able to do it. You may run into a little bit of problems on stage with the band if you're real close to a bass player and it's vibrating your guitar. That's a whole different other can of worms. Um, the other thing for at home is there's several phone apps as well, and those work great. They just use the microphone on your phone, and the apps are usually free, and then you can learn how to, uh, and you can tune that way with your phone, with your smartphone. Now, that won't work in a crowded or noisy environment, but it'll, it'll get you at home, or it'll, it'll get you in a pinch or anything else, and they're very accurate, and they're very good, so... Um, to start off here, we're going to start off on the, the E string, the low E. And what you're going to do here is, I, I've detuned this on purpose. I just started turning knobs. So um, what you're going to do is, basically when you see this A light up there, your notes are still going to go in order, alphabetical order, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So they're always going to go in order. And then when you have the little pound sign, that is going to be on the sharp end of that note, the high end, rather. So, to get started, that's, that's a good reference point because if you don't know where your tuning is, which you're really not going to know right now, you just need to go in alphabetical order and you can figure it out from that way, you know, when, when you're tuning it up. Uh, so let's get started on the low E, which is the top string here. Bottom string in technical terms, but the top string 
on your guitar that's closest to your uh, fretting hand. The biggest, thickest string. So, we're going to hit that. And we're showing a high D, so a D sharp range. The goal is to get this thing in the middle. And you'll see. So right now it's registering towards the high end, so we know that we need to tune up. So we're going to turn it counterclockwise. And we're going for an E, is what we're going for. So that red, it's telling us to stop. We're not good, not good. Right there. Just a little bit more. Right there. We're on E. And I do also like to do, myself, I like to kind of stretch these a little bit. Because sometimes your strings can get hung up in the nut here. This is called the nut. And sometimes they can get kind of bound up in there, especially if you've got a guitar with high action or that isn't set up properly. High action means how far the strings are off the fretboard. So I like to give it a little pulse because, see, it pulled it back a little bit. Gave it a little bit more. And now we're in tune. We're in, in E. So we got our first string done. Now we're going to go down to the A string, which is right here. This is what we're going to tune it to. We're going to tune it to A. So we're going to bring it up. See where we're at. We're a little low there. So we're going to bring it up. We're going to bring it up till it stays there consistency. Consistently, rather. Sorry. Um, you don't want to have it lean in either way. You want it right down the middle. That tells you that you're right in line. Give her a little more of a stretch and a press there. And we're in. That's an A. Now we're going to move on to this string here, which is the D string. So we're going to bring that one in. Let's see where we're at. We're on the high end of the C, so C, D. So we need to go up further into the D range. We're going. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you can just hear this. It does take some time, though, guys. So be patient. I see there's a lot of tutorials out there too about tuning uh, by ear and things of that nature. That's all fine and good and that's all great, but I don't think most normal people are going to have an ear developed to be able to even tune by ear when you first start. It really takes a little bit to develop a musical ear unless you're just born with it, which I was not. Maybe you are. I hope you are because it's going to help you a lot and you're not going to have to work so hard, so that's good. So we got that D string, and we are in tune, right square down the middle there. This is going to be our G string we're going to go to, which is this guy right here. On an acoustic guitar, it is the last wound string in the, in the group. So we're going to bring that up to a G. Right now we're at F sharp, so we're going to bring her up. We got to come up quite a ways. I turned that one back quite a bit. So we're bringing it up, up, up. Stretch her out a little bit. And there is that G. Okay. We're gonna keep moving along. Right down here we got the B string. We're gonna do that one right here, right now. As you're tuning the guitar, a lot of times you will feel, you'll feel and hear the notes when they melt together. Like the the whole guitar will start vibrating as you get close to the right tuning. So you'll know that you're in the right neighborhood when you start to feel that or hear that. Um, a lot of times this B string is one, at least for me on most of my guitars, that will be a culprit of getting hung up a little bit in the nut up here. 
and so you make sure that you when you're tuning that one you want to stretch it a couple times and make sure that you're uh and, and you don't have to push on it real hard you just want to make sure that it's not getting hung up in here and that it's flowing free because when you do start to play if it is hung up in there it will come right out of tune immediately almost once you start hitting the strings and vibrating it will come out of tune and then you know you'll be you'll have to retune the guitar so or retune your b string anyway so there's the b that one's in tune and then we're going to move on down to the last one which is our high e all the way on the bottom considered the top in literature if you want to think of it as the top is the high note and the bottom is the low note that's a good way to look at it and that will tell you so we're going to tune this one up to an E. We got our way down there. Starting to hear it come into tune there. And there it is, the E. All right. So right now, this was a guitar that was already in tune, and these are strings that have been on here, so it's not a big deal on this one in particular, but if you did just put new strings on the guitar, you definitely do want to tune it more than a couple times. It's going to come in and out of tune quite a bit, stretching strings, things of that nature. I'm going to do a video, and I'm going to show you guys how to switch strings or repair strings or however, you know, if you just want to replace one at a time, however you want to do it. I will do a video on that and let you guys know how to do that but that's just a little piece of advice that new strings they stretch quite a bit so you want to keep an eye on that and they won't stay in tune and the whole guitar may come out of tune a lot as you're um, tuning it so there we go that's how you tune a guitar everybody before we go one more time I just have to stress the importance of tuning your guitar every time you pick it up just make it automatic that you tune the guitar you pick it up you tune it before you play anything make sure you tune it spend all the time that you have learning to tune your guitar because there is no quicker way for you to quit than when things don't sound right and no matter how good of a player you are if that guitar is out of tune it's not gonna sound right you're not going to be able to play along with the records. It's not going to sound right. Nothing's going to sound right. So I just, I know it's an easy thing to say, ah, I just want to play a few songs or something. Just get in the habit of doing it because it's just going to pay off so much in the end because there is no quicker way for guitar players to quit playing than when things don't sound right. And there's no quicker way to get criticism playing guitar when things don't sound right. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's tuning. It's not even what you're doing. So make sure you tune it, all right? Just learn it. If you got any questions, by all means, you are more than welcome to come here and ask questions anytime. I monitor all my comments. I will help in any way that I can. Um, you can rewatch the video and uh, go back through the tutorial about how to tune your guitar um other than that guys if this video was helpful helpful for you please like the video it helps us out so much here it helps other people find the video and it helps us um to keep making content and getting more more people on board because we want to build a community here so please if you could like the video and subscribe Share it if you'd like with friends, if you know people are still learning or starting to learn how to play guitar. And we'll be back with another one very shortly. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you down the road.